Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Everybody with me? Everybody with me? All right. Let's get the camera on. Hello, class. Everybody present, please take your seats for today. We're going to explain how even no matter what level you are, you're going to come out of this video learning something today. So my name is Anto. All you're going to need for this is this beautiful tool right here, which game developers actually fail to use many, many times. But this is all you need to take your game from zero to 1000. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Anto. Uh, if you click on the leaderboards, this is my main account. Um, I'm someone that has done many fun things in the game, such as completely destroy um, Invasion, figure out the cheapest build to beat the highest level TG, to basically climb infinite levels as much as you want. But that's not what we're going to be talking about today. Today we're going to be talking about a very simple thing, and it's going to be all about experience and how you guys might be missing out on millions of guild honor and i mean millions of guild honor you're probably not getting simply because you're not pushing the game correctly now first of all there is no correct way to play bit heroes the best way to play bit heroes is however you want to play whatever gives you fulfillment and to chase the goals that you want to do however what i will give you is the information to know what is the most efficient way to get as much out of the game as possible to milk as much of returns. Every time you're playing this, you're gonna be getting the maximum amount of resources. Every time you push is what we are going to be looking at. Because after all, this game has no skill. The skill in this game is one resource managing and basically pushing difficulty, beating the hardest flags, beating the hardest dungeon fours. And that's what we are going to talk about today. Now, I have nothing prepared, we're just gonna go all off the top of my head, talk things, I'll be reading chat uh, occasionally, a chat is a bit hidden. What's gonna be on the screen? Now a big argument that people have is, do you use experience runes or do you use item find runes? Now I'm gonna convince you here today on this stream to only ever, ever use experience runes. The one time that you should ever be using item find, and even then, not 100%, but the only time you should be using item find is if you are pushing PvP or GVG. That is the only time you should ever, ever, ever have item find. Right? And we're going to be looking at numbers today. We're going to be, we did a lot of calculations at how much experience you earn, and that we, we've always talked about in the community what's best. Well, obviously, if you want as many resources as possible. If you wanna get as many, well, let's just find a random guild. Let's just join this one, excellent. If you want to get as much guild honor as possible, you should always be using experience. But now you might ask me, yo, Anto, but how much more experience are we getting versus item find? And does it really make a difference? Right, so before we begin, let's open up paint and we're gonna take this and give you a nice example, right? We're gonna have two examples. Obviously, this not to shame any, anyone if you've been playing the game in a certain way. That's completely fine. But we're gonna have player A here and player B here. Yeah, very scuffed, terrible. I'm not good at drawing, but let's go and talk about it. Now, player A pops a 900% item find. Yeah, he has 900% item find. Player two is new at the game, has no idea what he's doing, but he's using legendary experience runes. Now obviously this isn't going to be exact, it's just to give you an idea of why item find is not considered very good compared to stuff like experience, compared to stuff like gold find, and even movement speed. I'll consider those three bonuses better than item find when they're equaled out. And I'll explain. So this player here, he is grinding war boss. He runs 500 runs for war shield, 
for a certain mythic, right? And he doesn't get it. This player here is very unhappy. He's like, RNG is BS, completely BS. What the hell is happening? Like, why haven't I gotten my item? Player B, on the other hand, he's not even pushing. He doesn't care. He's just doing his regen. And all of a sudden, one day, he drops two mythics back to back. One of them being War Shield. Now, what happens here is this had zero impact because you did, whenever you don't get a drop, now item find is increasing your chance, but when you don't get a drop, it might as well not have worked at all. Every single run, and I mean every single one run you are doing with experience, you're always going to be winning. You always win. Even if you don't drop anything, you're winning. Every run. Why? Because every run you are getting your 40%. Now you do get your 900% every one, but when you don't drop something, you don't see it. There is no impact. It does affect it, but when you don't drop something, there is zero impact. And let's just talk about running. Eventually, if you're running something forever, right? So if you're doing your region every day, not even pushing, eventually you're going to drop this item. Mathematically speaking, you will get this item. Doesn't matter how high your item find is, you will get this item at some point. You will get it. Eventually, you will get it, right? Now, I might get lost in my thoughts, but uh, I'll bring it back, right? Um, if the chance, we don't know what the chance of drop items is, but if it's 0.001%, then it's increasing it by 900%. If this is not correct math, again, is, is turning this into this even worth it is that does that even seem like it's even worth it when an item is so rare when you increase the chance and you hit that maximum cap of your item find which item cap which everything is capped at 3500 percent if you didn't know that is the cap for everything movement speed everything is capped at this and it should be capped at this is it even worth it to increase this when it's so low anyway and it's so random that there is no consistency or is it just better to always get more experience each run and eventually you know you will get more runs in total so i'll give one last example of this before we go bit heroes is as you can see it's essentially a slot machine yeah you got your your random like things you want to get three in a row and you win when you get three in a row right now, do you want a higher chance? This way you should be asking yourself, do I want a higher chance, right? I get one try at this machine with item find, right? Do you want one try at this? Or would you rather have less item find and get two tries at this? Realistically, if you're getting more experience, if you're getting more experience, you get more tries at something which indirectly buffs your item find. Because if you run something twice, at 0.001%, that still increases your item find. Technically, it does not, but if you're getting two tries at something, you have two tries at this very low chance versus one try at a slightly better, but still very low chance. Now let's look at actual numbers and see how stuff works, right? And the way we're gonna do this is pretty much comparing someone that's running only 20%, sorry, 40% experience versus someone that's running no experience. And we can look at this with no boosts activated. XP is kind of like item find, and that's something people don't realize, right? People don't realize that. Let's put this away for the time being. And let's take a look at this. Numbers, scary, but don't worry, we have calculator, we have the mathematical equation to win at this game. Now, I'll quickly explain exactly more runs. I cannot really see chat, let me hide this real quick. But put it very, whoops, put it very easily, what Andy said. More runs equals more items, equals more familiars, more gold. You get more chances. You therefore, by increase, even your capture rate, increase your capture rate, with experience. 
And my experience is the most broken bonus in this game. Don't believe me? Let's do a very, very wild example. Can you guys see this quite well? Do you need me to zoom in a little bit? Is that a little bit? Yeah. Gold star for Andy. If you guys don't know a bit about Andy, go follow him on YouTube. Um, also, shout out to my friend Bold Eater, who really pushed me to make a video talking about this. Because this is something that people don't think about when they are pushing. Sorry, I'm not keeping up with chat. I am really trying to get the information out as clear as I can. I'll look at chat occasionally. If something doesn't make sense, you let me know. So, when I have made this, it might seem a bit confusing and I did not optimize it to make it really friendly, but I'm just gonna explain it to you. And when you run this with 0% experience, this is roughly the experience you're gonna be getting, yeah, per one run at maximum. So PvP, this is five tickets. This is one raid shard. This is 30 energy, and so it's a dungeon three you're running. Badges is five, right? You're using the maximum amount, TG is five, deals is one. Yeah, everyone with me. Awesome. Now, this is comparing a player using two legendary experience rooms. As you can see here, it's multiplied by 1.4% because, well, this is a bit wrong actually. No, this is correct. This 1.4% increases by 40% from the base. You're getting 40% more XP. And you can see this increases. When you have a, a rare 50% boost, the number increases. Now this actually makes a huge difference. Yeah. So let's say a player that ran region, only region, and he used all of that with 0% experience. So per day, if you're doing your region twice, let's just say you ran PvP six times, you ran all the, these ones, you ran them six times, energy you ran 10 times, zeal should actually be higher because you run zeals 30 times. So let's fix that. Raid, you run it 10 times. Energy, you run it 10 times. I assumed you get you run 300 energy a day. I did not fully update the Excel sheet, but bear with me one second. We're going to do the calculations here, and you guys will see it happen live. Yeah? So what I've calculated here is simply, you can see here, the amount of runs you are doing a day multiplied by 365 so every single day of the year you can see here in one year you have ran 2190 pvps you ran the same for badges and tg you ran a lot of zeals and i mean a lot of zeals in one year and you ran obviously a lot of badges and a lot of energy in one year so let's start in one year region on top ones. everyone with me so far so in one year of running region you have ran all of this now you might ask so okay how much experience did i earn with never using my uh, experience runes i'm an item find enjoyer you know i'm a item find enjoyer and i will explain why you were just wrong so by multiplying the amount of runs per experience you get, per maximum runs, right? Because obviously you run PvP six times, you're running five tickets three times, you wait for your region, and then the day you do it again, that's six in the day. So we multiply that by the base experience. So all of this, you can see, the calculation is simply the amount of runs per year, multiply by the experience you get. And you can see in one year, you are earning quite a lot of experience. That is what, let's add commas so we can make it nice and digestible. Um, 637, 637, 50. So let's fi fix this a little bit. So it's nicer to see. So you have ended up running Let's say, so in one year you have gained 60 million, yeah, 
You want to with me? 60 million experience. This translates to 6 million on a, in one year. Only region, only region, doing it twice a day, never missing a beat because we are hooked on this game. Now let's look at the real Giga Chad who runs experience and all he cares about is experience. Let's uh, take a look at one of my heroes, for example. Let's actually uh, name, let's say, four. You can see this guy here. He doesn't care about anything as long as he has his experience. He's big chilling. You don't even need runes. Like, come on. Experience is what it's all about. And this guy knows. Look in the leaderboards. Go is capturing something. Again, he doesn't know. He was using experience yesterday. But let's see, so how much more are we going to get one year simply by always using experience? Always using experience. So you hear the same calculation we've done, the amount of runs, but now multiplied by the experience values, yeah, that you are currently getting. It makes sense. We add it up, it looks so nice and dandy, and we end up getting as you can see, quite significantly more experience. That is 8.5 million honor. All of a sudden, in one year, you have gained 2.5 million honor. Just like that. In one year. Only region, never pushing. Only region. You've given yourself 2.5 million more honor. Now you tell me what's more worth it. The 40% item find or running stuff an extra 2.5 million times, right? Now bear in mind with this honor, you can go back and push that. Sorry, I have uh, alerts disabled at the moment because we're focusing on this. Um, I will refund you those points. So you've gained 2.5 million honor more. And this adds up after running 6 million honor, you're gonna get some honor back, right? So whatever you run, a certain percentage of the six million honor, you are going to get something back. And in that one year, you would, you would have gotten the item you wanted anyway. This gives you a little chance of getting it faster, but even so, you're gonna get way more tries using more experience. Yeah? Now where you can fully maximize this is by looking what day is the best day to push. And again, people are split a little bit in the community. It's Sunday has the most, uh, has the most because it's, uh, you have the highest chance of getting the item. But Friday, you get 50% juicer experience, right? So when should you be pushing? Always on the highest experience day. Not only that, you should always, always push when there is a special week. What I mean is the best way to play this game is to not play it. It's to just the region, only region. Wait, always wait until there's a special week event, there's a Southern X or something. All of a sudden that week has 100% experience or 50% bonus experience that whole week. That week, if you push that week, you're gonna be gaining so many more tries at getting items, so many, so many more tries. So the way you look at it is, I want to always, when I run something, I want to get the most value back. And simply put, the best way to do that is just by doing this. Now, where it gets crazy is you can even calculate this to the day. To the day, right? Because if you're getting 2.5 million on a more, right? 2.5 million honor, let's do 2.5 million honor, right? If we divide this by 3,000, this will be how many zeals you are getting. We're not talking about NFTs, I have to do an equals here, we're only talking about one hero, that's it. You've gained an extra 833 world boss runs. Not only that, so this is the amount of runs obviously you've gained more than this. This still gives you a lot of, you're still getting stuff back, 
but not as much. You gain all of a sudden an extra 833. But then you run this number and you're going to be gaining more back anyway. This value returns, 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 and it's kind of infinite. It's infinite. And this is why experience is essentially very, very good. And you should always, always push only when there is experience. This actually ends up being, right? If you look at this, put little brackets around it. So how many more zeros are you actually getting a day? Only with 40% extra experience. How many more zeros are you getting a day? This doesn't count for daily bonuses. This doesn't count for guild experience, right? Every day, you've given yourself an extra two zeros every single day that you choose to wake up that day and you're like, I'm gonna run experience. Again, you've gained two, two zeros that day, 2.2 every single day. And the best way to maximize this is essentially to just always, always use experience. And if you wanna go even further, you only push, only ever push when there is experience weeks. Very important, experience weeks are very, very strong. And this is coming from someone that was the third person to reach level 1000. And I did it mathematically, the cheapest, fastest way possible. Look at this game, it's great. So, if you want to take your game to the next level, experience, 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 experience. And that's it. Looking at it like this, why would you ever choose to have an extra 40% chance to drop an item that day when you can have an extra two old boss runs? You know what I mean? Why? Why would you do it to yourself? It essentially makes not much sense. And as we've spoken about, experience ends up boosting your item find ends up boosting your capture rate indirectly by just giving you more things back. That is the main thing to talk about and to take away from this is you should always be using experience. When you're not using experience, you're essentially gaining, giving yourself less resources. And especially for free to play players, you have the boosts, you have the boosts. What you lack is resources. So how can you get more resources? Use experience and only ever push when there is experience weeks. Bottom line. Now we can go even a step further on this and we can look at, well, okay. So cost 3000 honor for you to get one zeal in the guild shop. Yeah. 3,000 honor for one seal or one badge, one whatever. And you can think to yourself, well, okay, let's say I only bought seals. For those 800, well, what did we say it was? It was uh, 833 extra seals you get a year, right? So let's say you get these 833 seals. You take those, and on those seals, you decide to push with Bitgore. So let's take a look at how much experience you're getting on Bitcoin. Now, Zeals is the most efficient return possible that you can get to recycle your resources to gain even more experience, to gain even more resources. Let's say you pushed one time that whole entire year with the extra materials, the extra Zeals you had using Bitcoin, which is right here. We can take this, right, 833 zeals multiplied by, 833 multiplied by, uh, we'll just type it 8,000. That's how much experience you're getting. You've all of a sudden gained an extra this amount of experience, which divided by 10 
664,000 uh, honor, and you've gained back, right? If you divide this number, by 3,000, cost 3,000, as we've spoken about honor, if you take one seal, you've gained another 221 seals. And what happens when we do this again? So all of a sudden, this 833 we spoke about just became 1,000. It's all about managing your resources effectively and efficiently. It's not looking at sales on base value and being like, oh, this is a good sale, this is a bad sale, which we'll get into in a second. So again, the extra 833, all of a sudden we've added 221 to that. Crazy. And with this 221, let's say we instantly recycled it. You can see how this gets better and better and better and better. The more you only focus on experience. 221 zeals. Let's say you obviously you ran 833 with a boss, you get 24 hours to do that. Yeah. Now, it, you don't really care about items at this point, you just care about experience because you're giving yourself more consumable, more resource consumables essentially every single time. Again, this multiplied by 8,000. Right, so we can do the whole calculation here. If we multiply the amount of zeros gained by 8,000, that will give you the experience. We can divide this then by 10 to give us the honor. We gain this amount of honor back. Incredible. So this essentially is 168800 divided by 3000. And we gain an extra 56 zeros. And again, the, 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 the reason why zeros are so strong working together with experience is because when you look at something especially in the shop, which I'll show you guys this screen in a second. And you look, what you're getting in the shop, for example, the XL pack, we'll just in, insert it in here, the XL pack. And this sheet, it will be made available on the official Discord. When you look at this, this is not all you are getting. You might think, oh, XXL pack costs 99 bucks. This is the only thing you get? No. When you run this on a bit goal, you will get 522, 522 zeals back. And those 522 zeals will go back into becoming more zeals, which will go back into becoming more zeals, which will go back into, and it, it's endless. The loop is endless. It lasts forever. And this is how you can keep never losing resources. So whenever you run something, you've gained a percentage of that back. And that's what you are maximizing. We're going around a little bit in a loop here. But you guys pretty much get what I'm trying to explain here. Incredible. So let's delete all of this, keep it a bit more tidy. Now, now that we've covered this, it's important to look at as well, what are the best things that give you the most return from the guild shop. Whenever you buy zeals, cost essentially you're gonna get five zeals for 15,000 uh, guild armor. You get five zeals, right? We can do the same thing for badges. And you guys can be using your calculator to calculate this pen and paper. You can be using your Excel sheet, you can be doing the exact same thing as me to try to calculate what you're actually earning in game currency. Or you can look at five badges instead. Five badges. Now the difference actually is not that large between the two. And you get more gems with this, you get more things from this. The game gives you so many resources for free. And of course, it just takes time to get them. The shop is still very good to speed up this as fast as possible. The fastest way you're going to be progressing on this is if you're spending money. Is it necessary to spend money? No. With, with lack of tears coming, there's no real reason to spend money, especially when you get to the end game, there's nothing to do. But you can look at how much percentage, whenever you buy something in for honor, how much percent are you gonna get back? And how do you maximize your return?
by pushing during experience week and by pushing on experience day. And then all of a sudden you're always maximizing the amount you gain back. Yeah. So we'll do this is yours, this is badges. And obviously other things are not as good. And we'll give you a quick tier list on at the end, we're almost done, so bear with me a second. Zeals and badges. So 15,000, yeah, you get five, uh, five of each. We can multiply this. You're gonna get one run only, actually. So we're gonna get one run of badges. We're gonna push this on a bit more. Let's see. So let me zoom out a bit so I can see badges. So you gain 35. And whenever you see experience, just divide that by 10. It kind of will give you the what you need to know, right? You run one run on badge, multiply it by 3,000. Whoops, 3,500. Now, this is pushing either expedition or invasion. They give very similar experience. That was not what I wanted to do. You've gained this amount back, which divided by 10, we saw was just this number. And you're essentially giving yourself one zero back. From the five that you've just purchased, you've instantly gained one back. That doesn't seem like too bad of a trade-off. It's maths, guys. It's all mathematics. It's not magic. And it'll be very similar. Uh, you'll see here an equal sign, if I have to do the equal sign, and what is going on, and we've completely broken it, excellent, you'll be getting slightly more experience back, this is going to give you one something as well, a little bit extra, but essentially how it becomes any of the math, once you run bit one something, you get 26% of your resources back when you run zeros. You get 23% of your resources back when you're doing badges. And I don't remember the calculations for the other content. Now, what are the best packs in the game? What are the best packs? What are the best resources? Resources are not created equally. They are not created equally. So we can look at this at the pack evaluation, right? Let's say there is Theoretically, a boost that costs I don't know, 9 99 or let's say 30 bucks. I think we've seen this before where, let's say, all you get is 10 PvP packs. That's trash. You're getting almost no zeals back. Why? Because you're not getting as much experience. Now, when I played this game, I never pushed, actually, anything other than more boss, essentially. I never bothered to touch expedition or invasion, right? All of a sudden, if it's selling you raids instead, instead of five, you've all of a sudden gained back 179 zeals. So raids is looking like the best so far, but let's just double check. Um, energy is honestly not as bad. And energy, keep in mind, guys, let's zoom in a little bit here. Now, a big reason as well why we are not seeing new tiers is looking at the energy gain. From Zone 1 Dungeon 3, you get 12,000 random bit war. But at the end game, you're getting 22,000. Now, if we compare this to Raid, at tier 4, it's 23,000. At tier 21, it's 29,000. The way this is scaling, energy would have ended up giving you more experience than Raids. And then all of a sudden, energy would have become the best resource in the game for no reason. And now we're not getting any more new tiers. And, well, we might do, but again, it's all about experience and calculating your experience, right? Um, so this doesn't seem too bad. Let's do this, for example. So badges gives you 116, that's not too bad. So badges is quite nice, it's quite valuable. For TG, should be very similar, 98, that's not terrible. PvP has been the worst thing so far. And zeals, unfortunately zeals only gives you 20 per one. 
Zeus is actually not very worth it. The best thing for you to be getting in the shop for your gems, again, if you're spending gems for resources, one, you should always, always buy them when they're on discount for 440 gems per one. Right? Always. Because if you do this, then every single raid you run on a Bitcore gives you back one zeal. And that one zeal, more experience will return and give you more. So you're always, always looking for your return. You're always looking for the most that you can get from experience. And yeah, as Andy said, uh, eventually with more tiers, raid, all of a sudden raids will not be in the Z tier of stuff. So when you're buying stuff, find things in shop. Let's do a quick tier list. Tier list. Buying things in shop, not things. We should we should really say consumables. Yeah. Rates is Z tier, it's the best. Then I think we saw the badges being the second best. Because badges give a lot of experience. Right? Then I think it was TG. That was the next one that we saw. But again, if you're maximizing experience, you're never really going to be buying this. But again, you should play the game how you want to play it. And you should always be aiming to maximize. Again, the, the more experience you earn, the more resources you have. It's, it's that simple, guys. It's that simple. TG will be, we'll say, A-. minus Because it's not that bad. And it's very essential for the game compared to badges. It's hard to put a, to evaluate resources right because they they have different values for everyone everyone has different goals in the game so it's kind of hard to evaluate this uh what else are we seeing we're seeing zeals pvp i think that is it one two three four five we're missing something here we're missing energy how good was energy 75 but the badges gotta do this again the badges was better than tg Eight. Yeah, you see badges is the best. The seventy-eight. So energy comes afterwards. Let's go back here. Energy. Then zeals. Then PvP. Uh, we'll give this a B. We're gonna give this a C. We're gonna give this a useless. Worthless, even better. We'll give it a worthless tier. Yeah. Essentially, if you're maximizing your returns, you should only, only ever buy rates. And again, if you stack a lot of rates, you're gonna be getting the most amount of experience, it's gonna give you the most back. It's worthless. Eventually, as we've spoken about, Andy, what do you need PvP for? You need PvP for colors. And that requires you to get item fine. Remember item fine, guys? Remember? Boo, item fine. Get the hell out of here with that. Yeah, you're going to eventually get your colors. They will come. You're going to get them. You're going to always farm it. You will get it eventually. You can speed it up, and that's your goal. And you can invest into it. But you, you have to understand that you are, it's a trade-off. And if you use PvP, you get nothing. Exactly. Now... This kind of changes when you get to the guild shop. Completely different. Why? Because they the shop evaluates every single thing here as 600 gems. And there's no way you can tell me that this here is worth the same as this here. It's not. It's not even close. It doesn't even come close. Which is why energy is actually pretty good. I'm actually going to bump energy up to A minus. I'm going to bump it up. Give this a B or give this a B minus. Voila. Done. Guild shop. Zeals. Zeta. Badges. A tier. 
nice and easy to do. Now, I have not really looked at energy in terms of returns, but judging by how good it is, I would assume... Mm, I would assume TG to be slightly better, but again, it all depends on what difficult, what stage of the game you're running it at. It, that really makes a difference, right? So we'll, we'll do TG first, because TG is more important than that, because obviously when you consider what do you actually need, yeah, it goes up, yeah, it goes up per tier, that I didn't explain, but yeah. We'll, we'll actually we'll cover the ways of getting more experience, right? TG, we'll give it a B. Uh, energy, we're gonna give it a B. We'll, we'll tie it together. Then you have PvP. We'll give it an extra worthless tier. Why don't you get hydrated? Actually, can I do this? Well, give me one second. Here we go, so we are going to try to give this, ah, oh, it does not work. Oh my god, what does it want from me? We broke it again guys, GG. Unplayable. Cancel. We'll just, we'll just say it's worthless. Now it's a different font and it's completely ruined everything. But we're, what are you doing? I don't want this. We are having technical issues, but it's fine now. We'll just stick it to worthless. That's it. If you're maximizing your things every single... If you want the most amount of resources back, you should always be getting zeals in guild shop, and you should always be getting raids. And the issue comes from the game saying that these things are equally priced when they are not equally priced. They're just simply not. The game is not fair, the game is not balanced. So that's it. Now I'm going to quickly pause the recording. Let's look at um, some of these sales, for example. The GVG pushback, right? You're going to buy this and you're not using this in GVG. Why would you use this in JVG? It makes no sense. And again, look at this. I don't find capture rate and experience. The experience is that. So it's actually not bad, but it's only four hours. Only four hours. Boosts are hard to put a value on, but the way I see it, if a boost doesn't have experience, I put it in the worthless tier. Like I I'm, I'm, might as well never use this. They do have uses, but it's harder to use them, right? So what, you're getting zero of everything here, you're getting 10 badges. So this ends up being quite close in value, but you're not going to be running this on... Again, you're gonna, if you're going to be buying anything, you're going to be buying this, and you're just going to be storing it on the side until that juice a week comes out so you can push. Yeah. Legendary adventure bag. We can calculate this too, for 500 this time five of each and this has one of the best zeals game per dollar spent. Bear in mind guys if you're in the US there's strategies you can use to only ever spend money during off a wall where it, it ends up like the math ends up becoming that everything in the shop people living in the US is 50% off. They get everything for 50% off life is unfair. This congregate are fucking morons. They are. They're idiots. They completely idiots. They don't know. What, they don't understand any math. They don't have calculators, guys. Not sure where they got the education that one person can sit down and do the math with them, and they're ruining the game the more they do this. But okay, you can see this here. You're getting a lot more zeals purchased, but you can't just look at this number. This number is nice, but how efficient it is is looking at the zeals gained per one dollar spent. Just 5.2 every one dollar, you're getting 5.2 zeals. That's a lot of zeals. That lasts you a while. It takes a long time to run stuff, guys. And if we input the other thing back, the what is it? The the other pack, the early push pack. It's 4.2 again. If 
you're trying to maximize your returns, this is going to be the best. But this does not come with a bit core, and that bit core is very valuable. It is very valuable. This is nice because it gives you 200% for longer. It allows you to push more experience in this amount of time, right? So you can look at this and be like, okay, I gain less experience. So you want to use ideally these boosts for things that have that take a long time to run, such as raid. Raid takes quite a while to run. Trials takes a long time to run. Gauntlet is slightly faster. And you see this has no bonus experience, so we don't really like, care about it. Um, you're always going to be farming heroic. Anyway, there's no downside to it. Versus when we're looking at dungeons here. So let's see dungeons that we have completed. This has an extra 200% experience. And obviously it takes far. You want to use this. And there is a cap on experience. So when you're using these long boosts. If you do this strategy. You will actually find yourself as a free to play. With almost equal amount of resources. If not more resources than boosts. I keep hearing free to play players tell me. Yo. I got many bit goals and no resources to run them. Well, of course. Because you didn't play the game to maximize your resource game. If you're maximizing your resource game. You're losing less resources. And gaining more resources. That's it. You have more resources than boost. As a free to play player. If you're playing to maximize your returns. You will end up with way more resources than boost. You get to push more. You get to essentially play the game more. And you get to just waste resources for fun. Because after all you will have made more resources. It does require dedication. requires you to play the game. But that's it. It's a no-brainer, right? So even though, nope, even though, when we're looking at this, this, uh, not this, that's a super GDG pack. I, I'm actually down to calculate the difference between this and this and seeing which, if they have equal value or if they're different. This here will allow you to push, but only for 24 hours. And actually, there's only so much you can push during 24 hours, especially when you put this together pushing on Friday with an extra 50% experience and then you're pushing on a week where you get an extra 50% experience all of a sudden you have 100% experience that day and again it's guys the, the math just it's so makes so much sense after you run the numbers and you look at it one thing is to say it one thing is to prove it what I'm doing now is proving it to you guys that you can be getting way more resources if you want Albeit you don't get to choose which resources, it's going to be mostly raids and or boss. Mm, and then badges as well. But ideally, you're going to be getting more resources back, which will allow you to spend more resources. And that is the key. Right? That's literally the key. Again, you want to maximize your experience gains. Uh, how do I check the bonuses? See, this only increases item finds, so it does not really matter. You want to be maximizing experience whenever possible. And actually, on Bitcoin, in raids, sometimes, when you're pushing during your, you know, the big experience week, you know, and you have so many raids anyway, you might as well, um, you can use a slightly weaker boost to still gain a good amount of resources to save the Bitcoins, because that would be an issue for you afterwards, to only push for experience in zeals. And yeah, that's it. That pretty much covers that. Um, so let's end the recording again. As a side note, for anyone spending money, you should never buy things straight up. Because especially if you're living in the US, congratulations, you have won the lottery. Because everything you see for creds is actually half that price. Why? Because you can see this account is free to play. You never spent any money. The only time you should be spending money is with creds. Only time. Same reason why you only buy resources at 440 gems. It's discipline, guys. You gotta discipline yourself to not waste your resources. See this earn new offers? Now you see in my area, they're completely worthless. They give you nothing. But if you live in the US and you spent $100 to buy a CVS card, you gain 2,100 creds when it's three times off all. So it's all about being at the right place at the right time. And you can just keep track of that. Whenever there's a three times off all, 
when you spend $100, you're gaining $210 back. And that's just mental. That essentially means if you live in the US, you can buy it. and you spend $200, you're gaining four of these. And if you're maximizing your resources, you never have to spend another cent because why this will, this will just take you that. This will keep you going for a long, long time. You will struggle to run out of this. You will. But that's the US and I hope they fix this eventually. Again, for us people not in the US, the closest we can come to this is NFTs. Um, but obviously, I think the shop is much more dangerous situation. I've spoken about NFTs being strong, but anyone living in the US, <laughs> I'm sorry, NFTs, the amount I see how strong they are, and when I say something, I really mean it, this is ridiculous. If you're living in the US, you don't even need to buy NFTs. You just, you just off the wall, get this. You become a bajillionaire. Hey, we're getting a uh, region gapped by those Americans. But yeah, again, if you enjoyed this style of video, this is for you guys on YouTube. Do let me know down below if you have any questions, if you like more explanation on how to maximize your gains and how to go from zero to hero, leave them down in the description. Like, subscribe, and go on the Discord and tell Kong to fix their shop. Because it's ridiculous. It's a joke. They don't know what they're doing. They have zero clue what they're doing. Thank you for watching.